<laughs> it's your old pal Stevie T. And you know what? I've been playing The Sims 4 again. So not long ago, I did a video called 50 YouTubers in a Locked Room, Last One to Die Wins. And it was so much fun to do, so I had to do it again. This time, we have 50 iconic rock stars to the ultimate challenge of survival. Now, I decided to narrow it down to rock stars still living, because otherwise it would be impossible to choose 50. It, it even was here. So let me introduce you to our rock stars. Steve Vai, Machine Gun Kelly, Kirk Hammett, James Hetfield, and Lars Ulrich of Metallica, Gerard Way of My Chemical Romance, Courtney Love, Joan Jett, Bob Dylan, Stevie Wonder, Travis Barker, Yoko Ono, John Bon Jovi, Fred Durst, Rob Halford of Judas Priest, Chad Kroger of Nickelback, Jonathan Davis of Korn, Dave Grohl, Rob Zombie, self-proclaimed greatest rock star ever, Kanye West, Sting from The Police, Elton John, Billy Joe Armstrong of Green Day, Icky Pop, Gene Simmons of Kiss, Nikki Six and Vince Neil of Motley Crue, Ozzy Osbourne, Axl Rose and Slash of Guns N' Roses, Tina Turner, Marilyn Manson, Brian Johnson and Angus Young of ACDC, Alice Cooper, Madama, Robert Plant and Jimmy Page of Led Zeppelin, Matt Heafy of Trivium, Bono from U2, Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr of The Beatles, Corey Taylor of Slipknot, Keith Richards and Mick Jagger of The Rolling Stones, Steven Tyler of Aerosmith, Dave Mustaine of Megadeth, Herman Lee of Dragon Force, and Neil Young of Neil Young. And look, I know he's no longer living, but I had to include Michael Jackson. Let's look at him. <laughs> Quite a sexy bunch of rock stars if I do say so myself. And without further ado, let's get to our first challenge. Now, nothing says rock and roll like a rock wall. Rock and roll. So this challenge should be no match for our rock stars. All they gotta do is scale the rock wall until you either give up or fall. Last rock star still climbing wins this challenge and an advantage at the final round. And with that, rock stars man the rock wall. Oh, wait, what? Why is it raining? How does weather just turn that quick? I'm not feeling very good about this. These are electronic devices. Oh, yeah, here, yeah, yeah, this is not good. Oh, no, okay, this, this is not good at all. I, I wanted them to die, but not so soon. Hold on, Herman Lee, you can do it. Oh, no, no, you can't. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> I would like to clarify that I did not plan that at all, but The Sims has a way of, like, foiling all of your plans. Now, there is a clear age disadvantage for some of our rock stars, but you know, it's it's, it's hilarious, so. But they're at such a disadvantage. Oh, really, Michael Jackson? Pathetic. Barely even participation ribbon worthy. Oh, and Slash Falls too. Kirk Hammett? Hold on, Bon Jovi. Why are you bald? Oh, down goes Billy Joe Arm Week. And, oh, and bald John Bon Jovi falls aggressively <laughs> and is not happy about it. Okay, people are dropping like turds in a Taco Bell at this point. Honestly, though, guys, how does it make you feel to know that Yoko Ono beat you? Oh. <laughs> I don't know whether to laugh or call life alert. You know, I cannot believe how many old guys are still in this. Look at Mick Jagger and P Robert Plant back there, too. Oh, yes. Madonna, you have no reason to be proud of yourself. Solid 27th place. Look at these old guys, though. They're, they're putting all the young people to shame here. In fact, four of our final five are elderly. Oh, and Robert Plant bows out, leaving Ringo Starr, Mick Jagger, Ozzy Osbourne, and Gerard Way of Mike. Oh, wait, Gerard Way's out? Oh, and Ringo's out too. I guess that leaves just Ozzy Osbourne and Mick Jagger. Oh, and Ozzy Osbourne's out, but our winner, Mick Jagger! I can't believe an old person won this. Wow. Quite an embarrassment for the young people, I must say. Like Matt Heafy, you're, you're a black belt in things. <sighs> Next challenge. You know what? After such a stressful event, I think our rock stars deserve a relaxing break. In these deluxe custom saunas. And this challenge is the easiest, most relaxing challenge of all. Plain and simple, last one to leave the sauna wins. Living a life sweating buckets on stages, this challenge should be no sweat, pun intended, for our sweaty little rock stars. And look at this. God, I hope that plastic doesn't melt. How are you liking it, Bald Bon Jovi? God, you're... I don't know why he's bald. <laughs> but anyways, so far, none of our rock stars seem to be in any hurry to escape the sweat pits. So you know what? Why don't we just uh, crank up the heat a little bit? Oh, what's this? Getting a little warm, are we? Well, the door is right there if you want to give up. And you guys thought this challenge would be easy. I made it sound easy, didn't I? 
Hot spa indeed, Rob Zombie. Oh, James Hetfield looking a little hot there. Well, you know what, James Hetfield? If you want to leave the doors right th Okay. Oh, you know what? In retrospect, that might have been a stupid place to build a sushi bar. Sorry, James. Looks like you're staying. Well, you know what? If you want out, Steven Tyler, you're going to have to push the mannequin, okay? I needed a place to put these things. Stay inside, you must. Well, since these things are all conveniently blocking your way out, I guess I should lay out the real rules of the game. It's quite simple. If you die, you lose. Last one surviving wins this challenge and an advantage at the end. And they're clearly starting to feel the burn now. <laughs> Sorry. Uh-oh, James, you ain't looking too hot. Uh-oh, James. Okay, well, that ha yeah, okay, everyone relax. Everyone relax. Okay, panicking is definitely the right thing to do here. This is great. All right, so who do we have left? Jonathan Davis of Corn and Herman Lee of Dragon Force fame. And Jimmy Page, another old guy. You, you know what? You guys are screwed. Retired people live in saunas. <laughs> oh, spoke too soon. Jimmy Page is up. Oh, and so is Jonathan Davis. Davis is down and so is Jimmy Page. This means that Herman Lee is our win. Herman, you won. Okay, he's dead. Oh, winner's a winner. Herman Lee wins this challenge. Not to worry, though. We'll have our rock stars resuscitated for tomorrow's challenge. And boy, do we have a gorgeous location for this challenge. A tropical paradise of sunshine and floating chickens. Now, I had to break our rock stars up into two separate groups because the Sims wouldn't let me spawn 50 jet skis in one location. So here's our first group ready to jet skadoodle. And the... What the heck? Vince Neil, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> I, I did not plan this. Oh, well, snoozy lose. Everyone on their jet skis. Let's get this race going. Better get to your jet ski quick, Vince. Time's running out. I ain't waiting. This challenge is quite simple, really. A simple jet ski race around this quarry and back to where we began. First person to reach the ending platform wins this challenge. Three, two, one, go! Oh, and it looks like Jimmy Page taking an early lead. Slash, 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 you frickin' maniac. You almost killed Vince. He's so innocent. Anyways, it looks like Jimmy Page is still in the lead with everyone else behind clearly drunk. There does seem to be some confusion here. I meant for you guys to go between the whale floaties. Okay, whatever. Bunch of jet skidum. And our leader's heading back. Oh, and Ringo Starr fell off his... <laughs> okay. Ooh, uh. Tina Turner, you almost took Ringo's head off. He's an old man. I did not intend for this race to be so disorganized. Oh, and look who decided to join our resident mermaid. And it looks like Slash has a pretty commanding lead at this point with Madonna and Jimmy Page still in the running. Oh, and Slash getting caught up in... I don't even... Water? <laughs> well, after that, it's any one of these three's race right now. Is it going to be Slash, Jimmy Page, or Madonna? But they're going painfully slow right now. Looks like Steven Tyler just arrived. Too. You, they better get their move on if they want to keep their lead. Herman, you might as well just give up. A very slow dash to the finish here, but it looks like Slash is going to win it. And Slash is the winner! With Jimmy Page and Madonna taking second, in which they win nothing. And look at that strut. Wow, Steven Tyler with the strut of champs. Not to worry, Ringo Starr. I'm sure Vince Neil the Mermaid will be out to save you very soon. Whew. These challenges are making me hungry! Luckily, today's sponsors are here to help me out. It's HelloFresh. And that's exactly what you're gonna be saying when you find delicious food at your doorstep. You've got your delicious chef-crafted meals with all the ingredients you need, fresh and pre-portioned. So all you gotta do is prepare it. Every meal comes with a recipe to follow. So now you don't even have to figure out meal plans anymore. Stevie T and Mama T whipped up some delicious honey garlic chicken wraps. Well, more like Mama T prepared and Stevie T pretended to know what he was doing. And it was freaking delicious. And I'm the pickiest eater ever, but the meals were freaking delicious. The beef bowls are one of my new favorite foods. Literally, beef bowl. HelloFresh sent me a delicious beef bowl. And I would have never even tried it if it weren't for HelloFresh. HelloFresh has 40 weekly recipes to choose from. But the best part, you can completely skip the grocery store. No more lineups or dealing with grocery cart Karens. And you know, with the price of groceries anymore, it's like, give me a reason to leave the house. No, send me food to my house so that I can munch. 
Go to HelloFresh.com and use my code TerryBerry60 to get 60% off your HelloFresh order with free shipping. No wasting gas money to go to the grocery store, free shipping. HelloFresh.com, code TerryBerry60, 60% off, do it! Now lest we forget, we have a second group of jet skadoodlers ready to jet skadoodle. And boy do I have a surprise for our second group. And this track is quite simple, really, just follow the outside perimeter of this here lake until you reach this all-important corner where you have to face an obstacle. And you have a choice. You can either drive through these water bristles or go through our first group of racers who have kindly joined us today involuntarily. I mean, who wouldn't like a jet ski to the face? Luckily, we do have Lars the lifeguard in attendance <laughs> just in case anything goes awry. And once you've chosen your obstacle, it's the final stretch on the way back to the original beach. And once again, the first person to reach this winning platform wins. So before we let our rock star friends drown, we better start this race. Three, two, one, go! Who's got, oh, Bob Dylan with an early lead. The old people are fantastic at these games. And it looks like Bob Dylan's in the lead, followed by Iggy Pop and Fred Durst. What a collaboration that would be. Oh, and it looks like Stevie Wonder's found his way-ish. What is going on? He's going nowhere, but he's going fast. Our leaders, on the other hand, remain unchanged. And it looks like Chad Kroger gave up already. Stevie Wonder, Chad is Chad, thank you. Oh, and it looks like Bob Dylan had like a mini stroke of sorts. Iggy Pop's in the lead now. And Bob Dylan appears to have fallen back into fourth place, just behind Rob Halford. Now our racers are approaching the uh, choose your obstacle. And what is going on here? <laughs> okay. Steve Vai appearing to have some kind of seizure. And it would appear that our racers have reached the choose your obstacle. Iggy Pop is going to have to make the first choice. Oh, and Bob Dylan messing up again. I don't know what's up with him. Looks like Iggy Pop is going to choose to, oh, to go through this gap here. Uh, well, we're, Yoko, wall. Yeah, we're going to have to fill up that gap quick. There we go. Yeah, now you guys are really going to have to choose, huh? This means Iggy Pop and Fred Durst have a big lead now. I got to tell you, this obstacle was just a commanding success. Oh, Jonathan Davis chooses grass. Joan Jett, on the other hand, choosing to behead Sir Paul McCartney. Good choice. Impressive strategy. You know, I don't know if Stevie Wonder is trying to scare them or if he just can't see them. But here comes the pack trying to chase down our leaders. Oh, and what happened to our leaders? I wasn't even paying attention, but it looks like Rob Halford has surpassed Iggy Pop. Oh, and Stevie Wonder decides to drive through our friends. Good choice. I genuinely don't know whose race this is at this point. No one in any real rush to win, which is crazy because they literally just ran over their friends to save a second. Fred Durst started his swim way too early and Rob Halford takes it unopposed. Good going, way to kill your friends. Another great day at the beaches. But wait till you see what we have planned for tomorrow. I think our rock stars look parched, don't you? How about a nice little drink break? So if you've seen my first Sims video, you may recall a challenge quite similar to this one. And it was so popular that I just had to bring it back. In fact, this is the same water from that challenge. And I gotta say, it has not aged well at all. You know how this one goes. First rock star to drink themselves to urination wins. And the toilet is just a quick hop, skip, and a jump to the other side of the map and up a three-story building. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Grab a glass of months old E. coli water. <laughs> okay, try not to think expired bacteria water. Try to think more like a green tea. So far, things seem to be going quite well. E. coli water. Mmm. What are you waiting for? Grab another. You ain't gonna piss yourself. Well, okay, you might. Some of our rock stars are already onto their third drinks, and I'm sure their bladders are about ready to lawn sprinkler all over the place. Oh, and here we go. Lars Ulrich asking for the bathroom. Unless he's complaining about Napster again. One can never really tell. None of you guys are begging for the toilet yet? Really? Oh, and there it is. Funny how it hits all of them at the exact same time. Corey Taylor already jogging to try to keep it in. Why not jog towards the toilet? Oh, and he is. There he goes. A couple of them have already peed themselves. But really, guys, you're just going to hand Corey Taylor the win? Come on, guys. Corey Taylor's already in the building. Oh, and he's already made it to the first floor. Toddler terrarium. Oh, what's wrong, Corey? You don't like possessed floating babies? It looks like he's going to attempt this landmine of babies whilst trying to not pee himself. 
Meanwhile, we got a couple other slowpokes slowly making their way. Corey's already made it to the next floor, Pussy Palace. Please do watch your step, Corey. There's vomit. Oh, and look who finally got the memo. We've even got the squat squad coming. <laughs> Guys might want to hurry up, though. You gave Corey Taylor a solid two-minute head start. Oh, too little too late. Corey Taylor has just found the toilet. You know what? True metal heads sit to pee. All right, well, you know what? Since you guys finally woke up, I'll let there be one more winner, okay? So get your little buns in gear, this child. Okay, what's going on here? A toddler managed to escape to the next floor, and you guys can't figure it out? Uh, there, how do I use stairs? <laughs> you know what? This challenge has become unhinged. And you know what? So has Madonna. She just pissed herself. Gerard Way, the stairs are right there. Oh, Robert Plant eye in the next floor, though, and, and here he is. Don't mind the vomit, Robert. Just walk around it. Robert Plant seems to be the only one in contention at this point. No one else is even... Robert, why are you mopping? You had to pee two seconds ago. Well, and I believe that's Bon Jovi heading up the stairs. So what will it be, John Bon Jovi? Pee or clean up cat vomit? You've got to be kidding me. Stevie Wonder. <laughs> okay, guys, a blind man is beating you. Yeah, see you later, John Bon Jovi. Thanks for cleaning the cat vomit. <laughs> God, what a moron. Oh my God, he's heading towards the stairs. Stevie Wonder is going to win this. Stevie Wonder is literally going to win this challenge. Wow, just as I was beginning to lose hope, Stevie Wonder comes and steals the throne. What an embarrassing group of rock- What? Really? A room full of toddlers and you're the ones pissing everywhere? You disgusting bunch of deplorable piss-stained rock stars! Look, you're making the babies cry. You rock stars make me sick! Well, here we are, folks, the grand finally. Now, if you saw my first video, I'm sure you remember the death house. So much death, so much torment, so much hilarity. Well, the death house is back with a remodel. All right, all of our previous winners, please report to the death house. You guys have an advantage at this final challenge. As for the rest of you, please report to the bedroom of the death house. I'm glad you guys are so willing and eager. Pause! <laughs> On second thought, delete. This is your home now. Enjoy. I don't die. And that's really the only rule to this final challenge. Just don't die. Last person surviving wins. But for this challenge, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to turn autonomy on fully. This means that our rock stars can make their own choices and do whatever they want to do. So be free, my little Rocky Balboas. <laughs> really? Have you guys learned nothing today? Ugh. Oh, and I have just one rule. No one touches Richard. Other than that, do whatever you please, my little butt pigeons. I'm just gonna put this right here. Enjoy your new death hut. Oh, uh, Madonna? Madonna, you, you're gonna regret this. Madonna, jump, okay. You know, if you had looked before you jumped, you would have noticed that the pool has a diving board, but no way out. Moron. You know, I gotta tell you, this whole thing was worth it just to see Marilyn Manson skating. Oh no, Dave Grohl, don't jump! Okay, G oh, whew. nice to see someone has brain cells. He looked before he jumped. Madonna, speaking of brain cells, Neil Young, why are you stomping on garbage? Matt Heafy, no, 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 okay. Matt Heath. oh wait, that's not Matt Heafy. That's Ozzy Osbourne, where the hell did his hair go? <laughs> oh, this is truly sad though. Well, look at that. Bob Dylan giving Neil Young a massage. Well, that's a sight I thought I'd never see and I didn't need to. Oh, and before I forget, leaving the grounds is strictly prohibited. Not that anyone would want to leave anyways, not with all the fun- Okay, it's starting to rain. <sighs> well, you know what? You stay outside long enough, this was bound to happen. But apparently James Hetfield just now noticing that it's raining. What? That is such an Iggy Pop thing to do. Keith Richards, what did I say about touching Richard? <laughs> Uh-oh. Everyone grab your ankles and stick your butt in the air. Uh-oh, Brian Johnson's worried because he's about to get thunderstruck. I'm so sorry I had to do it. Oh my, oh, and Axl Rose just got struck by lightning. And he's okay. Um, okay. He's just texting his buddies like, yeah, just got struck by lightning. Cool story. Silly me. And I thought getting struck by lightning was deadly. Iggy Pop, you're trying to mop wet grass in the rain. Oh my god, <laughs> Alice Cooper just got struck too. Let me guess. Yep, he's fine too. You know what? I think everyone's gonna be okay after all. One day later. Man, the weather around here is nuts! One day it's summer thunderstorms and the next day Frosty barfed all over the place. This must be Canada. And where do you think you guys are going? The other side of this fence is just as cold. You know, the sauna is just right there. Why don't we all go... Okay, cancel that. Uh-oh, Yoko's turning blue. <laughs> okay, that's not a good sign. Everyone's freaking out, and Iggy pop over here with no shirt like, what, it's cold? I guess we should just be happy that he's not making snow angels nude. 
Oh, don't worry, guys. I'm sure it's nice and warm in there. I'm blue. I got a All right, at this point, we've got a lot of smurfage going on here. Everyone's turning blue, and they're peeing in the snow, making peesicles. Iggy Pop, you are a freak. I'm not cold at all. I just got to pee. Okay, Neil Young, you have issues. Oh, and look at that. Iggy Pop volunteering to clean the peesicle. What is that noise? Oh. Kanye West just went Kanye South. All right, first one's out. Time to get our winners. Your advantage time is over. Oh, what's wrong, Corey? Cold nipple juice? Okay, things are getting scary silent right now. I don't think that's a good sign. Oh, Courtney Love is now iced up and the mood is now getting desperate. You can just tell. You can see it on their blue little faces. Oh, at some point, James Hetfield iced up. I just realized there's no way I'm going to catch everyone icing up. There's just no freaking way. Oh, oh, the slash. Please do watch your step. <laughs> They're getting so worked up. They're running around, slipping everywhere. Oh, Brian Johnson all frozen up. Frozen? <laughs> frozen up? <laughs> I cannot English. Oh, and Iggy Pop out. I thought he was invincible. Okay, something is going on over there. Oh my god. Oh no, Steven Tyler! A few hours later. Everything happened so fast. They all went down at the same freaking time. All right, so here's the Jamaroo. Corey Taylor, Angus Young, and Rob Halford appear to be freeze-proof. They've been out here for literally hours, and they're not even cold. They're just bored. <laughs> so I decided we should settle this the old-fashioned way. The way you would when you were younger, out on the school grounds, proving yourself in front of all your resuscitated friends. No obstacles, no death, just a running race from here to the finish line to see who truly is the greatest living rock star. Racers ready, on your marks, get set, go! Oh, and it doesn't get any closer than that. Who? I don't even know who won that. But we're going to have to go to instant replay for that one. Get on in here. Oh, look at that. Corey Taylor's foot just passing the line before the other two. Amazing job by all. But it would appear that Corey Taylor is the greatest rock star living. Sure, maybe he can't climb. Maybe he sucks at jet ski. But I'll tell you what. He sure knows how to take a piss and survive in the harsh cold of winter. Corey Taylor... You are the greatest rock star living. Congratulations. Well, that was a lot of work. But I had a freaking blast making this. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you did, why not give me a subscribe? I do love you. And as always, Patuna!